Hello, we are back for the next part of our lesson tutorial, and we got the sweet Sebastian cooing in the background, eyeing me and flirting me. He's so very sweet at five months. All right, so what I suggest is that in the lesson, um, which is like a self-paced digital lesson for students, that you make your content or the like the delivery pages first and then um, add your questions. So you could do that by importing a PowerPoint, which frankly I've never done. Um, so I don't know how to teach you how to do that, although you certainly can try. Um, but I'm going to just add a content page. So I click on add a content page. So we're ready to add our first content delivery page. So I'm just going to put a little title here saying something like singular and plural nouns introduction. And then I need to put some learning activity in there for the students. And so I've sort of pre-planned what I'm going to do here so you don't have to sit here while I figure it out. So I have some text that I'm going to copy. So I, I wrote this and just slapped it on a Google Doc before I started to record the video. So I'm going to paste in that text. And then the next thing I want to do is have our the students uh, watch a video. So I'm going to say something like watch this video. And then I'm going to center a YouTube video there that I've pre-identified as being a decent video. So what I do, this is just my own little sneaky way of going about this, is I use the center button on the toolbar and then I type the word blah because that's my favorite word. And now you may notice that I have a tab up at the top here. That's a tab where I have my video in YouTube loaded up. And so I just need to click on share because I want to embed it on that page. So there is an embed option in YouTube. And I just happen to know, I think the best size is going to be 560. I think that will fit. If, it, if it's too wide, I might have to go put in some custom sizes and then re-embed. So I'm going to say 560 by 315. So once you choose the size, then you copy this code. You don't need to understand it. You go back to this tab. And I can, I'm going to paste the code. And if you're pasting HTML code, then to do that, and I think I'll just put another blah here so I know where to get back to. But to do that, I'm going to click on the HTML button. I'm going to just look for the special word blah, which is right here. I have two of them. And I'm going to paste my code right over that and then hit update. So now I got a video in there. And just as a reminder that if things start to get crunched in there and it's hard to work in that small little environment, you always have the option of toggling to full screen to add your content. Let me just move it over there. There we go. Oops, what happened to my video? What did I do? Well, let me toggle low again. There we go. And then toggle back to full screen. We're good. Um, so that is really all that I want the students to do. I guess I didn't need this blah after all, so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to go back to the small view again. And then you go to these, this area called content one, content two. These will create buttons on the content page for your students to make a choice in a self-paced lesson, which direction to go. So in this example, I am going to give the student the opportunity to either answer some practice questions or move on to the next teaching or content page. So I'm going to type in content one, which you have to have at least one button at the page on, the, on a content page. I'm going to say try some examples or we'll say learn more. And then these buttons are what will direct the student to another part of the lesson. However, we only have one page right now, so it really is irrelevant to set these. And so I'll show you how that all works after we get more than one page. So I'm going to say add a question page at the bottom. So really, if I hit the preview button, this is our first and only content page, the way that the student would see it. And they just 
they have a sentence that they read, they watch the video, and then their next step is to try some examples, which I'm going to write momentarily, or go to another content page, which I could um, uh, do as well. So that's um, kind of step two of setting up a lesson, which is really just um, putting together your first content page. Now keep in mind, you don't have to have a YouTube video in your content page. You might um, write content or you might have a Picasso slideshow with some ex examples of something. You might link to a, a web page that you think teaches a concept really well with some interactive things that the student could do. Um, I just chose this as one example of one way to teach students about the concept that I'm identifying here.